Okay, our last official speaker for this evening is our second district representative. Uh, if you're in Bethel, you probably know this young man, uh, Rahib Ali Brennan. There's so many people here today. This is amazing. Um, I hope you guys don't mind I wrote stuff down because it's when you're angry and you have frustration, it's better to put it on paper so I don't curse or say anything that I shouldn't say while cameras are here. So, um, oh, sorry. So, I'll just start with, it's a sad day in America. It's a sad day in America when my eight-year-old niece asked me if she was born in America and if her sister was born in America because she's afraid of being separated from her sister and her family. It's a sad day when the politics of hate and fear have reached the minds of our children. It's a sad day when we lock immigrant children, men and women in cages. And as of today, six children have died while in detention facilities. What is going on at the border is a human rights catastrophe and we cannot be silent. My father is an immigrant. His mother immigrated to America from Guyana. She worked hard and sent money back until they could afford to all come over together and obtain green cards. And this is a very long process and is a long process, as many people know, even today. Yes, they came here legally, but for so many immigrants, waiting is not an option. For so many immigrants, waiting means death. De death from political violence, gang violence, domestic violence. Asylum is a human right. I am proud to be here today with so many of you to show our immigrant families and communities here in Connecticut that we stand with them. This year, the General Assembly passed the Trust Act, which protects the due process rights of undocumented immigrants. I voted in favor of this bill because everyone in this country is entitled to due process of law. Yes. And Governor Lamont recently signed this bill into law. Under this law, state law enforcement agencies will only respond to ICE immigration detainers if accompanied by a judicial warrant. Without a judicial order, state law enforcement and court officials can only detain any undocumented immigrant who is on a federal terrorist watch list or has been convicted of a major felony. Policymakers should do everything in their power to ensure that immigration policies reflect our values. I saw a comment on Facebook from someone complaining about the vigil today. Um, how we should be focusing on our own citizens. My response to thinking like that is, so we shouldn't speak out on tragedy and injustice whenever and wherever we see it? If honoring our shared humanity costs me a vote, well then that's a vote I don't want. When I put my hand over my heart and say the Pledge of Allegiance, it's to an America that says, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. Not this inhumane version of America that looks more like the upside down in the TV show of Stranger Things. And with that, I'll say, you know, in my first term, uh, I focused on a lot of issues that highlighted um, some inequities within certain minority groups, uh, especially the LGBTQ community. And what I heard on the floor of the house and even on comments on Facebook were, why are we focusing on one group? Why are we doing this for them? Why are we doing something for everybody else? And the problem is, not everybody is equal in America. And when everyone is equal, then we can move up together. So focusing on those communities who aren't even there yet, that's why I'm here, that's what I'm doing up in Hartford, and I'm proud to stand and hold the line for you guys up in the State House. Um, and thank you so much for being here today.